Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> I look like old Mother Hubbard this morning. <laughs> oh, it's just been busy already and it's not even 9.30. <laughs> oh, I was up, uh, yeah, Connor come home. Oh, hello everybody. <laughs> Do y'all know your names? Do you know your name? Do you know what day it is? Now, you've had a chance to find out <laughs> since the last time I asked you, so you should know. <laughs> oh, well, I had a long night with my little boyfriend, Connor, last night. He whined, and it bothered me when he was. <laughs> and they gave him medicine to take, um, or him to administer to his little eye. It's an ulcerated... Uh, opening in his eye or something like that. And they're Anyway, they're going to treat. Uh, well, I'm going to treat. <laughs> I put drops in size um, every eight hours. And then I give him a pain pill every 24 hours. So once we get on a routine, it'll be easier for me to get my time management in control. <laughs> Because this morning was crazy. I'd been up, you know, and then Harry was hungry because we had, this is the coldest night we've had uh, this season. And so he wanted, she wanted in, she wanted to eat. Itsy had, Itsy was fighting all night. <laughs> so, and Connor just wants all the attention. I mean, Clyde. So I thought to myself, oh, and I drug through getting the morning. Just try to, try to get everything done. And I said, oh, I have to let everybody know. <laughs> all is going. All is going well. Uh, we do expect the best. And uh, there are possibilities that it might do, not do as well as we think. But we just have to. Uh, I mean, the, the vet is optimistic. And I am, I am too. <laughs> so I'm so glad to have him home. I am very glad to have him home. He does get around a little bit. He bumps into a lot of stuff, but I I, I can tell he's in pain. His little head's hanging down, you know. But uh, thank you for all your support. Yes, it was a difficult time for me, and uh, but we all go through it. I'm not anyone special, but I do appreciate y'all more than you know. And the expenses was less than two hundred dollars, so. Uh, you know, <laughs> of course, now when he comes to my house, it's ninety five dollars every time he come walks in the door. So, and I he had the uh, Connor has to be visiting the vet or the vet come here to make sure that everything's healing the way it should every ten days. So I don't know how long that'll go on, or how much that will entail. It but I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I can't worry about it. There's nothing I can do anyway. But uh, but everything's good, and I'm okay with that, and I'm hoping you're having a great day. The chill has really hit down here in the south, but not cold enough to make a frost. So I still have some begonias to bring in and then decide which ones to bring in, you know. And my... Uh, so... Today I just just got my first cup of coffee, and I hope any you got yours, <laughs> or you probably already had your coffee. But if not, good morning. <laughs> oh yes, I'm going to read comments and uh, make this short today. My sister's coming over to repair the island. And we've got the, the 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 man that takes care of the heat. If he can get the part today, he'll stop by here and uh, fix my heater. That, but I'm I'm fine. It's not that cold, you know. Okay, let's start out. Here's the uh, the look. Say this is Mrs. C's cottage. Hi, Mrs. C. Says I have never had pet insurance. I have enough taken care of myself. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Not you, all of us. 
<laughs> Mrs. C made me laugh. At 75, it's probably too late for me anyway. <laughs> oh, girl, I love you. <laughs> Do something you love and take your mind off Connor for a while. Yes. And I tried that all day yesterday. And it did. <laughs> it worked most of the time. And I, <laughs> I stuck cutting the hair, so that's a signal. <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking control again. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. C. I hope you're doing well. And uh, enjoying the changing of the seasons. I, I guess they change in Florida. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, and I, oh, and let's see. Well, <laughs> here's Daniel. Hello from Montreal. I didn't react yesterday about Connor because I'm still mourning of my cat. The eventual loss of, of a pet tears me to pieces, so i rather keep silent, but you were in my prayers. I'm hope, happy to hear today that there is a lot of hope for his health and glad that I was able to see you today with still hair on your head. <laughs> yes, that's a marker right there. <laughs> He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> he must have seven cracking up faces on here. Stay in the loop. Keep hope always. May all the angels in heaven protect you. He'll probably take all of them, Daniel. Because <laughs> he's busy taking so care of so many lovely people. Thank you, my dear. Bye-bye for now. And take care of you, too, Daniel. Yes, I still mourn for all my babies. Every one of them. Isn't that amazing? How many fur babies you can have in your whole life. I mean, that's a lot of love and hurt at the same time, isn't it? Oh, and here's Laura. Hi, Laura. Hope Connor is okay, too, and it's not too expensive. Uh, is that a teal pan on your stove behind you? I love it. That's so pretty. I think your hair looks pretty. Oh, I love it. Uh, unconditional love. you That's the kind of girl you are, aren't you, Laura? <laughs> yes, that is a blue, a blue pan, and it came with the apartment. <laughs> apartment was furnished, you know. So, yes, that came with the apartment. And, yes, I enjoy it because that's my, one of my favorite colors, you know. Oh, good to see you, Laura. hope you're doing well yourself and enjoying the season very much. Um, here's Jill from Robert High. <laughs> hey. So Connor had an ulcer on his eye. I bet yeah that they'll be able to heal that up and he'll be just fine. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it, Jill? Yes. The table was busted up real good from the big mama falling on it. <laughs> hey, I'm a big mama. Hey. <laughs> You're not a big mama. You a lovable mom. But they thought call us fluffy mama. <laughs> oh, it was a table sitting at the side of Bob's chair. He he went to Walmart and got something to replace it. Always something in there. Oh yeah. Wouldn't we be bored if nothing ever happened? <laughs> I mean, what would you do? Just sit there all day long? Well, I have to, I have said all day long, <laughs> trying to keep from doing something. <laughs> oh, Joy Bird. Hi, Joy Bird. Uh, that sounds promising. I hope you hear from the vet again soon. Yes, all is going well. Yes, I think he's going to be all right. And if he's not, let's, we'll give it a good old try. You know? <laughs> but I think, uh, yeah, his vision might be gone, but we'll adapt. And but the doctor seemed to think that the maybe it'll come back. Let's hope that too. Hope you're doing well after after uh uh Oh my goodness, my went blind joy bird. <laughs> there was something I was gonna tell was real important too. <laughs> Real important, you're special, okay? There you go. That's important. <laughs> oh, and ha here's a, a, a Lauren Tribbley, my butterfly. Butterfly. 
says, sweet me, Ma, you're not an invisible person. I see you. <laughs> I was good to be seen, too. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder. Oh, and I'm still waiting on the on the letters and stuff from the kids. Uh, <clears throat> looking, I'm really getting anxious about that. And uh, but you know, everything comes in the right time. You know, it might have been overload if I had. You know, every everything flows through life. If you just let it. But sometimes it's hard. You got to get the scissors out, and cut the hair. <laughs> That's, been, that's going to be an ongoing joke with me for a while, I think. Just to keep keep my mind on not doing it. Good to hear from you. I bet you are cooler up there than I am here. But I know it's got to be gorgeous. 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 Uh, I say you're in Lancaster somewhere. Lancaster. Pennsylvania. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> oh, and here's Maribel. Hi, Mima. Hi, Maribel. Your nails look lovely. <laughs> yeah, I got went crazy, didn't I? My granddaughter had given me some nail polish oh, several years ago. And I was cleaning out a drawer. I was looking for tweezers. <laughs> and I ran across these two jars. One of them, they're like a blue, this color, and this shiny silver silver can you believe that I've, I've never thought about wearing silver but anyway and so I decided that get my mind on focused on something different and that's what I did <laughs> only thing about painting your nails is they chip they're really maintenance you know you got to maintain them if you're washing dishes some of them just sort of peel and uh, to me it's just something else to do but thank you for the compliment and yes I do enjoy them when they are done and it makes my rings look pretty because I love rings none of them are real but <laughs> to me they're real <laughs> I just pretend they are I mean you know and I am confident Conway Connor will be just fine and with you shortly. Yes, he is. He's got a loving mama to come home to who will take care of him. Today is Wednesday morning for me. I have to get some training, give some training this this morning. Do not enjoy it at all. I will be leaving a few hours early to shop for my husband's birthday tomorrow on the 20th. Oh my goodness. What are you going to get him? Hmm, men are hard to buy for, you know. Or my man was hard to buy for. Because <laughs> he bought everything he wanted, you know. <laughs> I did tell you the story about crocheting and him a sweater, didn't I? Oh, well, that's another day. <laughs> but happy birthday to your hubby. I'll try to remember tomorrow when I do my next video. And my youngest sister also has a birthday on the 20th. Oh my goodness, double swam, ma'am. <laughs> oh my, we've made some beautiful things. I would hope some of them, <laughs> that your sister would appreciate them. <laughs> I know I would. I hope your day goes well and that Connor will be home soon and doing much better. Heart hugs and prayers. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, to your sister, too. Happy birthday tomorrow. Can you believe October the 20th? How their birthdays creep up on us? <laughs> oh, my. Well, have a great day, and I hope the kid, people you're training are listening. Pay attention so you don't have to repeat everything over and over and over. Yes, I didn't like training myself, people. <laughs> took a lot of time, and some of the questions are so stupid. You know, I'm wondering if they're even listening to what you have to say. <laughs> oh, here's Meemaw Gigi. Love you, Meemaw, and hope Connor will be okay. Your hair looks good. I love the blanket behind you that you have on your chair, and your Queen Elizabeth blanket surely is growing. <laughs> Stay warm and all cuddled up. Oh, I am all cold up. 
I'm trying to get this that scarf on my head so you don't see where my hair's gone. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I see. Me, Mom, Gigi, she's going crazy here. She's got a rainy day out. Rainy day. Good morning. Such a beautiful day today. You look you look beautiful and so, sound so strong and positive today. Keep it on going. Hope Connor feels better and, and gets to go home soon. Yes, I'm glad he's home too. And, uh, oh, this is the the last one from Mima Gigi. Mima Gigi. That's perfect. I like that. Uh, look how far you have come. A bag of groceries are the best, especially after going through all of that. Yes. This. It is what it is. And we'll be what we'll be. As long as we see. Are kind of beautiful. It will keep us happy. So thank you so much And I'm thinking of all of you And everything's going to be good And I'm just going to sit here and crochet Until my sister comes over here To work on that Or the heat and air man Or whatever event happened today I think I'm just going to sit and rest I give Connor his pain medicine So he'll be sleeping for a while And then once he gets real good And sleepy goes to sleep, then I'll pick up a little bit in the house. Isn't that what we do? We just make everything flow the way it should. We'll be back in routine again tomorrow. I just know it. <laughs> Thanks for your patience, understanding, and for being here. I mean, for subscribing and knowing that you're out there. It's, it's a, you're a very good friend. You're a very good friend, and you're all very 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 special and if i don't tell you enough you're very special you are very special and you're looking good and you're still here after all these years and you've traveled and you've done things and look at you <laughs> and remember god has you in the palm of his hand pray for mother earth the bumblebees, the butterflies, the helicopters, <laughs> the helicopters, I don't know, for everything, everything that your eyeballs, and for our little fur babies, and, and take life as it is, remember, be your own kind of beautiful, okay, be your own kind of beautiful, and I will see you tomorrow, bye-bye, thanks again for your comments. I don't know what I'd do without him. <laughs> I'd probably be sad, I'm sure. Bye-bye. <laughs>